Are you looking for some hip mobility? Do you want to stretch your hips, your lower back, your hamstrings? Well, today's class is just for you. Hey friends, it's Kate here. Thanks so much for joining me today. And I've got a lovely, gentle yoga class from a chair that's all about the lower body. It's one of my favorite ways to be so kind to my hips. Whether I'm feeling tight through my hamstrings, maybe my IT bands, even deep into the piriformis muscle, these are some very gentle stretches that can hit all of those awfully complicated places. No props are needed, just a seat. Go ahead and grab your chair and let's get started. We'll just start today seated near the very front edge of the chair. Hands to the lap, shoulders down, lift out of the waist. Pull your belly button in, close the eyes, take a moment to check in with the body. Notice if it's easy to sit tall, if it feels like we wanna to lean to one side. Pause to concentrate on the breath. Feeling your inhale, feel your belly. Your exhale, soften the muscles. Flutter the eyes open when you're ready. Reach your fingers down, start to roll the shoulders. Make that the biggest, deepest circle you possibly can. You might feel a few crunchy spots, a few cracks here and there, that's okay. Reverse other direction, up and over, down and around, up and over, down and around. Just let your body move naturally. Take the hands back to your lap. We'll reach our right hand or right hip and cross your left hand over to your knee. Take an inhale, sitting tall and straight. Exhale, twist. Now you might point your nose towards the wall to your right. Or try to reach it back behind you. Unravel. Left hand to hip, right hand to knee. Big inhale, exhale, twist in the opposite direction, looking to the wall or trying to look back behind you. Unravel, send your hands down to your lap, reach them to your knees, take a small hinge or pitch forward. Are you looking up to me? I promise you I'm not important right now. Drop the chin, keeping your spine long. Shoulders are soft, chest is relaxed. Press into the lap, rise up. Now from here, can we extend our right foot out and away, giving the foot a little flex. Hands to the hips, lift out of the waist. And a couple of times I just want us to point our toe and flex our foot. Now that can be a simple little point where you just kind of relax the toe onto the ground, or you might actually like do more of like a real dancer point, picking up the heel. It's up to you. We're just going for mobility there in the ankle at the moment. The next time that you do, flex the foot, keep it flex, pause. Hands to the lap, rise out of the waist, and we're just going to rotate and release. Now this rotation, it comes way up high from the ball and socket joint, so I am rotating way up here. My knee, my ankle, my toes, they move in space because the top of my um, hip, the head of my femur, is moving in that ball and socket joint. Once it comes back to parallel, pause, give it an extra flex, hands down to your lap, reach to your knees and take a hinge here. Keep pulling the toes up to the kneecap, feel that deep stretch for the back of the leg. Open the chest, reach the head a little higher, press into the lap, rise up. Now once more I want you to externally rotate and pause. Think about your inner thigh, kind of pointing or reaching up to the sky. And then same hinge. Notice with that external rotation where we feel that different in our hip, in our body. Of course, if there's a bend in the knee, that's perfectly fine. If we can keep it straight, amazing. Take a big pause. Take a big breath. Rise back up. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Bring the leg in. Extend your opposite leg away. Now again, at first, we're just starting with our point and our flex, finding mobility there for the ankle, taking that point and flex at your pace. Even though this is about the lower body, still think about lifting up and out of the waist, separating the shoulders, reaching the top of the head nice and high. Flex and pause. Hands slide down to the knees. Find your hinge. Remember, when we do these hinges, it's not about how close your heart, your chest comes to your leg. It's finding the length in the back of the body, only going so far that we don't start to round or don't allow our shoulders to rise up. We want to feel comfortable. Push and rise up. Now let's take that external rotation, return. So we're finding that lovely movement there in the hip. Rotate, release. You may notice one side feels a little more natural or has more range of motion to play with. That's normal. Our bodies are different side to side. 
We're just going for your deepest range of motion. This time, rotate the leg open, pause, hands to the lap, lift out of the waist. Again, stretch the fingers down and take your hinge, pulling the toes up to the kneecap even here. Once more, with that external rotation, we might notice this feels very different, perfectly normal. Take a pause, take a breath when you're ready. Rise up to a seat, rotate the leg in, bring it back. Now from here, I want you to pick up your right heel and you're either going to cross at your ankle or cross at your knee. Both options are great. Whether you're at the ankle or the knee though, take a moment to let yourself settle and feel what that position looks like for you. Everyone's seated figure four is gonna be a little different. And I do like to make sure I cross past my ankle so I am not at the foot and sickling the toe. I am being supported by that little shin bone. Now grab underneath the leg and we're just gonna start with a little rotation release. Rotation release. Just finding that movement there. And in fact, if you wanna almost cat and cow a little bit here, letting your pelvis rock, letting your spine move, I am all for that. This is a mobility kind of position, not a hold and stretch. So move in your own way, your own shape. If you can though, sit up tall, sit up straight, pull the knee into the chest and you might hug around. I'm thinking about pulling the inside edge of my right knee towards my sternum. Your chest can twist a little bit. You might find it feels better to either keep both shoulders pointing to me or to actively twist to the right. Both options are great. See what feels good for you. Take one more breath. Release, let the hand left, oh, I'm so sorry, let your hands rest on your lap, rise out of the waist, and find that same hinge we've been doing today. Now we might notice that this feels quite different than when we had our feet parallel on the floor or extended. Obviously taking our leg in a figure four is really gonna change where we're experiencing those stretches. Take a full big inhale, push into your lap, rise up. Now, this time, lift out of the waist, take that same hinge we've been doing today, and I want you to take your left hand to your hip, your right hand over to your ankle, take a big inhale, and twist to your left. I like to drop my elbow down towards kind of my knee so my shin is just resting on the leg there. If you don't look 100% like me, that's okay. Not only can we stay twisting to our left, you could extend your left hand up and away. That might be too much, no big deal if it is. Full big inhale. Let that go. This time, drop the chin to chest and round over the body. Pretend there's a big beach ball sitting in front of you and you're just draping over the beach ball. Lightly push into the leg, roll yourself up to seat and unravel the first leg. Give it a wiggle, give it a shake. We might feel a little funky there and that's A-OK. -okay. Second side, again, we can cross at the ankle. This is a perfectly wonderful figure four or we can cross at the knee. Once you've found that position, let yourself settle. Notice the differences between each side. Is it easier to sit up tall and straight? Does this hip have more or less range of motion? All of those things are absolutely normal. Take a nice big breath. And when you're ready, grab underneath the knee and we'll start that little rotation. Just the lift and the lower. Like we talked about on the other side, you can actively kind of cat and cow. I'm focusing more on my pelvis tipping back and forth. If you wanna focus on your upper body, that's okay too. For me, it feels really nice in my lower back, in my hip to lean the pelvis back. When you're ready, do try to sit up tall, hug the leg in. You might reach around and give it an extra hug. Once more, it can feel good to stay facing me or you might actively twist to your left. I find this does get deep into my glutes, almost my piriformis, um, getting a deeper stretch there. Everyone feels it in a different place. It's perfectly fine if we don't feel it exactly the same. Let that go. Hands to your lap, rise out of the waist, a little hinge forward. Notice where your chin is pointing. Even though it seems like such a small thing, I promise having your neck in line with the rest of your spine does make a difference. So we're not drooping it down, nor are we craning it to look at me. Full big inhale. Push into your lap, rise up. Now we'll do that again with our twist. Start with a little hinge forward. Take your right hand to hip, left hand to ankle, turn to your right. Now again, I like to drop the forearm down. If we don't look the same, it's okay. You might just concentrate on looking past or maybe extending the arm up. I like to wiggle the finger, making sure there's no tension there in the hand. Take a big inhale. Hand comes down, drop the chin to chest, push 
so you can lean back and round. Remember, we're draping over the beach ball here. Nod the head, yes. Shake it, no. Roll yourself up to a seat. Gracefully or awkwardly unravel the legs, set them down, and just find a nice easy seat. Close the eyes, take a moment of pause. Noticing what 10 minutes can do for your body. Maybe if we feel a little more relaxed, maybe we feel like we can sit up taller and straighter. Perhaps you're just proud of yourself for showing up and moving your body today. Let your ears lift a little higher. Let your shoulders separate a little more. Take a big, deep breath in. Exhale, bow your chin to chest. Flutter the eyes open when you're ready. Look forward and of course, give yourself a pat on the back. Thank yourself for doing something so good and just for you. I certainly hope you enjoyed class. I cannot wait to see you again.